Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So we are going to do introduction to Pandas. What is Pandas? Pandas is again another open source library, very powerful and expressive tool, just like Excel sheet. It is used for data manipulation and analysis. So the word uh, Pandas is derived from the word uh, you can see the name pandas is derived from the word panel data so uh, this is what they called is as panel data it is same as an excel sheet so they named this project as panel data panel data is multi-dimensional data which means uh, this is a 2d data it involves uh, measuring data over a period of time. It has been created by Wes McKinney in 2015. It is a very new package, around seven years old now. So when we are using Pandas, there are uh, 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 there is something which is known as a series object. Okay, so this is a data type in Pandas. Then there is a data frame. Uh, this is a 2D object. Uh, then what we uh, do with Pandas is you can handle missing data using Pandas. You can do data alignment. Uh, you can group by functionality of the data. You can do slicing, indexing, and subsetting of the data. You can also do merging and joining of data, reshaping the data, hierarchical labeling of access. It is very good for input cleaning of the data. Pandas performs better than NumPy for over 50,000 rows or more. Uh, NumPy better performs better for a you know, smaller set of rows of data. The basic uh, syntax that you use when you are using pandas is you will write import pandas as pd and yesterday you saw you can give any name to this pd. I can also write Patrick here or import pandas as pat. It is creating an object name but pd is the standard name that you will use for pandas like in numpy we used np in the same way here in the program, you will use PD. So we will now see some more examples practically and hands-on. Uh, so uh, let me show you here on the screen. Uh, this is the uh, first screen that we have of Pandas. Do you all want to open your screen and also keep so that we can practice? Yes, we already opened our uh, Jupyter notebook. Fabulous. So please give a name as Pandas Mitsubishi uh, 8 uh, 2003, and then we'll start now writing the code in this. So, first is we will create a series object and uh, when we are creating a series object, we will first write, let us write here, import numpy as np and import pandas as pd. Okay. So this is the syntax that we are writing. And first we will create a uh, uh, data list. Okay. So I'll run this. And now we will create a data with a list that it will say data equal to 
bracket 1 comma 2 comma 3. So what we are doing here is we are learning about something that is known as a list object. So we will call this as creating a panda series from a list of integers. So we are learning about pandas here. So I'm just going to make it heading bigger. And then there are two data types in pandas. One is series object. Another one is uh, data frame. And we are going to learn about how to create a series object. from a list of integers. So we are creating a data set of uh, series object here and uh, we created a list. This is a list and now in this list we will uh, see what is the data type of the list and then uh, we will see what is how we will create it using a series object. So what I do to find the data type, I'll just write print data, then I'll type print type bracket data this will give me what data type it is now if i have to convert this data okay you can see here on my screen it is saying that it is a list if i have to convert this uh, data into pandas what should i write here what should be the syntax can someone tell me it is similar to what we saw yesterday uh, with numpy okay when you wanted to create numpy what you did np dot tab okay and then i went to correct here so similarly if i have to create a object using pandas what i can do is i'll click 3d dot tab you can see there is a big list of uh, objects that are available. What are the objects that are here? Uh, API, arrays, categorical, concat, describe, flag, excel, index, merge, uh, nano, pivot. Okay, you all have read about pivot. Then different ways of reading the data. All of this is given. And what we need is a series object. So I'll type here series pd dot series object okay one minute should be pd dot and so if i see series yeah here it is p dot series object and what i'm going to do is give a name to this data so i'm going to store it in series one equal to pd dot series and i'm going to pass the data here so with this i am converting this data into a series object and then i can just print out this series object here i'm going to type series and then here again series so you can see here what we just saw is if i print a separator here so you can see here on my screen what we created is we created a list this is the list and from the list we created a series object okay and 
it says this is panda series object now what is it that you see different in uh, uh, series object and numpy now let me just create a numpy from this okay yesterday we uh, created numpy so i'll try to create a numpy today again so that you know the difference so i'm going to call this as numpy object and what we are doing is we'll convert uh, this into numpy okay so what i need to do is type here np dot array so this is converting it into numpy and i'll write this as np1 okay np1 so that this is numpy or let me write it as numpy1 and then i'll convert this here into numpy so you all can see here we have created this as numpy what is it that you see as different between numpy and pandas series object so this is pandas series object let me make it little bigger so you all can see it big on the screen what do you see the arrangement in numpy uh, is in a form different for the form of pandas the pandas become like a matrix pandas becomes like a matrix very nice this is numpy you can see this is the data one two three whereas here you have uh, one two three something very interesting is this also correct this is showing the index numbering so always we should remember in uh, python the index numbering is always shown as starting from zero just like an array if you work with arrays you will see it is never starting from one it is always starting from zero so this is the index and this is the value okay so you have index index and then the value so this is the index and this is the value we'll see some more examples of uh, uh, so here uh, what you can do is you can uh, even create you can create these uh, objects from numpy also so uh, let me just write down here here we created the object from uh, integers list of integers we will create uh, a pandas create a panda series object from from numpy yeah so You can see on my screen we are going to create uh, numpy from uh, so here as you all can see once i have uh, given this syntax okay i don't need to write it again because the object is already loaded and i can see it here so uh, if i need to create a uh, data from numpy i can write here uh, numpy2 okay equal to np dot 
So here we will create a new data set uh, using NumPy. So we will say NumPy2 dot tab and I'll write a range. You all remember what a range does. So it will create a range of data. So if I write 12 and I run it, you and then I say print NumPy2 here you will see it has generated a range of data starting from 0 to 12. So we saw this yesterday in our example. So uh, what is the range telling? Range is make 12 uh, data starting from 0 to uh, 11. So this is what uh, it is creating. And if I make this as 13 then it there will be 13 objects and like i said everywhere numpy starts values from zero as an index now if we have to create a pandas uh, from this series object then all we need to do is just write series 2 i'm giving a different variable name and then i write pd dot series so it should say pd dot series here so if i press tab and i need to put capital s okay because it is built and then i pass numpy 2 it will create a series object from that numpy so i'll write print series 2 and it has created a numpy object starting from 0 to 12 and these are the index values so we can create pandas from different types of uh, 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 data sets we saw how to create it from a series object and then now we will create pandas uh, from uh, Oh. we will see what is the data type here so in pandas if i just type print d type okay type tells me what data type so i'll just take this and put it down series 2 so it tells me that this object pandas is created of a series object so this is a series object that it is created from now once we have uh, created a series object okay we will go back to the same example i will pull out the same example that we created again now here what we will learn is how to define the index values of a series object how to make define your own index values in a series object So here we have created a series object. Uh, sorry, I need to create this series object using a list. So let me go back here. what we'll do here is we change this. let me go back here and get this series object
So I'm taking this series object and pasting it down here. And we are going to give it a name of series uh, four so that I differentiate it. And let me run this series object. And you can see the index values is given as 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, if we want to change the index values of uh, uh, this uh, data set, then what we are going to do is we will define the index value within the code and make the changes. So what we are going to do here is we, we have created this uh, series object. And the data that we are going to use is, let me just remove this and put it here as a list. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then run it. So it can, it can, you can see it here. Now I can change the index. So I'm going to define a new index here. So I'll say a comma b comma c d comma e. So here you can see we change the index values from one to three. Okay, we changed it to A, B, C, D, E. So this is the index value. So if you want to access any value in this data set, we can access it using the uh, index values. So that is the objective of creating an index value here. So if you see here, how do we create an in, how do we access the values? So let me just show you an example. So we are typing C, this is series four. And if I have to access a value, I give it as A. You can see we are able to access the value A here. If I put the value D, then I'm able to access the value four. So using the index, we can access the values in the series object. So you all can see here, if you give the index name, you can access that particular value uh, through the index. We will see a uh, few more examples uh, of uh, uh, how to create series okay? using dictionaries, uh, using NumPy, we already saw. So uh, these are all important because, you know, there will be a lot of conversion of data that we will do. So that is why we are learning all of this. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.